Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. This is Psalms and Proverbs in 31 days, and we are on day 18. And today we shall be reading Psalm 1848, 78, 108, 138, and Proverbs 18. So, jumping right in with Psalms 18, verse 1. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. The servant of Yahweh, who spake unto Yahweh the words of this song in the day that Yahweh delivered him from the hand of all his enemies, and from the hand of Saul. And he said, I will love thee, O Yahweh, my strength. Yahweh is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my Elohim, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and horn of my salvation and my high tower. I just love this verse right here, Psalm 18 too. Such a great verse. There's just so much comfort and inspiration and hope in this one verse. You could break it down. The Lord or Yahweh is my rock. He is our rock, our fortress, our deliverer our God, our strength, someone we can trust in, our buckler, horn of my salvation, and high tower. All those things make you think of something secure and strong. That's what God is. And we need to be more spiritually aware of that and always be trusting in him. So amen to that. I love that verse. Psalm 18.3 I will call upon Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about, the snares of death prevented me. In my distress I called upon Yahweh, and cried unto my Elohim. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled, the foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken, because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also, and came down, and darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub and did fly, yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of skies. At the brightness that was before him, his thick clouds passed, hailstones and coals of fire. Yahweh also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he shot out lightnings and discomfited them. Then the channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke. O Yahweh, at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils, he sent out from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me. For they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but Yahweh was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Yahweh rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands hath he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of Yahweh, and have not wickedly departed from my Elohim. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statues from me. I was also upright before him, and kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore hath Yahweh recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands and his eyesight. With the merciful thou wilt show thyself merciful. With an upright man thou wilt show thyself upright. With the pure thou wilt show thyself pure, and with the forward thou wilt show thyself forward. For thou wilt save the afflicted people, but wilt bring down high looks. 
For thou wilt light my candle, Yahweh my Elohim will enlighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my Elohim have I leaped over a wall. As for Elohim, his way is perfect. The word of Yahweh is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is Elohim save Yahweh, or who is a rock save our Elohim? It is Elohim that girdeth me with strength, and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hen's feet, and setteth me upon high places. He teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, thy right hand hath holden me up, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. I have pursued mine enemies and overtaken them, neither did I turn again till they were consumed. I have wounded them, that they were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet, for thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto Yahweh, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind, I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people, and thou hast made me the head of the heathen, a people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. Yahweh liveth, and blessed be my rock, and let the Elohim of my salvation be exalted. It is Elohim that avengeth me, and subdueth the people under me. He delivereth me from mine enemies, yea, thou liftest me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent men. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Yahweh, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, and showeth mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seed forevermore. Psalm 48, verse 1 A song and psalm for the sons of Korah. Great is Yahweh, and greatly to be praised in the city of our Elohim, and the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth, is Mount Zion, on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. Elohim is known in her palaces for a refuge, for lo, the kings were assembled, they passed by together. They saw it, and so they marveled, they were troubled and hasted away. Fear took hold upon them there, and pain as a woman in travail. Thou breakest the ships of Tarshish with an east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of Yahweh of hosts, in the city of our Elohim. Elohim will establish it forever. Selah. We have thought of thy loving kindness, O Elohim, in the midst of thy temple. According to thy name, O Elohim, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Sion rejoice, let the daughters of Judah be glad because of thy judgments. Walk about Zion, and go round about her, tell the towers thereof. Mark ye well her bulwarks, consider her places, that ye may tell it to the generation following. For this Elohim is our Elohim for ever and ever. He will be our guide, even unto death. All right, Psalm 78, verse 1. Mashil of Asaf, give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable and will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children, showing that to the generation to come the praises of Yahweh and his strength and his wonderful works that he hath done. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. That the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children. That they might set their hope in Elohim, and not forget the works of Elohim, but keep his commandments 
and might not be as their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that set not their heart aright, and whose spirit was not steadfast with Elohim. The children of Ephraim, being armed and carrying bows, turned back in the day of battle. They kept not the covenant of Elohim, and refused to walk in his law, and forget his works and his wonders that he had shewn them. Marvelous things did he in the sight of their fathers in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zohan. He divided the sea, and caused them to pass through, and he made the waters to stand as in heap. In the daytime also he led them with a cloud, and all the night with a light of fire. He cleaved the rocks in the wilderness, and gave them drink out of the great depths. He brought streams also out of the rock, and caused waters to run down like rivers. And they sinned yet more against him by provoking the Most High in the wilderness. And they tempted Elohim in their heart by asking meat for their lust. Yea, they spake against Elohim. They said, Can God furnish a table in the wilderness? Behold, he smote the rock, that the waters gushed out, and the streams overflowed. Can he give bread also? Can he provide flesh for his people? Therefore Yahweh heard this, and was wroth. So a fire was kindled against Jacob, and anger also came up against Israel. Because they believed not in Elohim, and trusted not in his salvation, though he had commanded the clouds from above, and opened the doors of heaven, and had rained down manna upon them to eat, and had given them of the corn of heaven. Man did eat angels' food, he sent them to meat to the full. He caused an east wind to blow in the heaven, and by his power he brought in the south wind. He rained flesh also upon them as dust, and feathered fowls like as the sand of the sea, and he let it fall in the midst of their camp round about their habitations. So they did eat and were filled, for he gave them their own desire. They were not estranged from their lust, but while their meat was yet in their mouths, the wrath of God came upon them, and slew the fattest of them, and smote down the chosen men of Israel. For all this they sinned still, and believed not for his wondrous works. Therefore their days did he consume in vanity, and their years in trouble. When he slew them, then they sought him, and they returned, and inquired early after Elohim. And they remembered that Elohim was their rock, and the high Elohim their redeemer. Nevertheless, they did flatter him with their mouth, they did, they lied unto him with their tongues, for their heart was not right with him, neither were they steadfast in his covenant. But he, being full of compassion, forgave their iniquity, and destroyed them not. Yea, many a time turned he his anger away, and did not stir up all his wrath. For he remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passeth away, and cometh not again. How oft did they provoke him in the wilderness, and grieve him in the desert? Yea, they turned back, and tempted God, and limited the Holy One of Israel. They remembered not his hand, nor the day when he delivered them from the enemy, how he had wrought his signs in Egypt, and his wonders in the field of Zoan. And he turned their rivers into blood, and their floods, that they could not drink. He sent diverse sorts of flies among them, which devoured them, and frogs which destroyed them. He gave also their increase unto the caterpillar, and their labor unto the locust. He destroyed their vines with hail, and their sycamore trees with frost. He gave up their cattle also to the hail, and their flocks to hot thunderbolts. He cast them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and inundation, and trouble by sending evil angels among them. He made a way to his anger. He spared not their soul from death, but gave their life over to the pestilence, and smote all the firstborn in Egypt. The chief of their strength in the tabernacle of Ham, but made his own people to go forth like sheep, and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. And he led them on safely, so that they feared, feared not, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies. And he brought them to the border of his sanctuary, even to this mountain, which his right hand had purchased. He cast out the heathen also before them, and divided them an inheritance by line, and made the tribes of Israel to dwell in their tents. Yet they tempted and provoked the Most High Elohim, and kept not his testimonies, but turned back and dealt unfaithfully like their fathers. They were turned aside like a deceitful bow, for they provoked him to anger with their high places, and moved him to jealousy with their graven images. 
When Elohim heard this, he was wroth and greatly abhorred Israel, so that he forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh, the tent which he placed among men, and he delivered his strength into captivity and his glory into the enemy's hands. He gave his people over also unto the sword, and was wroth with his inheritance. The fire consumed their young men, and their maidens were not given to marriage. Their priests fell by the sword, and their widows made no lamentation. Then, uh, then the Lord awakened as one out of sleep, and like a mighty man that shouteth by reason of wine. And he smote his enemies in the hinder parts, he put them to a perpetual reproach. Moreover, he refused the tabernacle of Joseph, and chose not the tribe of Ephraim, but chose the tribe of Judah, the Mount Sion, which he loved. And he built his sanctuary like high palaces, like the earth, which he had established forever. He chose David also his servant, and took him from the sheepfolds. From following the ewes great with young, he fought, brought him to feed Jacob his pe people, and Israel his in inheritance. So he fed them according to the integrity of his heart, and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands. Psalm 108, verse 1, a song or psalm of David. O Elohim, my heart is fixed, I will sing and give praise even with my glory. Awake, psaltery and harp, I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Yahweh, among the people, and I will sing praises unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great above the heavens, and thy truth reacheth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O Elohim, above the heavens, and thy glory above all the earth, that thy beloved may be delivered, save with thy right hand, and answer me. Elohim hath spoken in his holiness, I will rejoice, I will divide Shechem, and met out of the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine, Manasseh is mine, Ephraim also is the strength of mine head. Judah is my lawgiver, Moab is my washpot, over Edom will I cast out my shoe, over Philistia will I triumph. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Wilt not thou? O Elohim, who cast us off, and wilt not thou, O Elohim, go forth with our hosts? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through Elohim we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. Psalm 138 1. A Psalm of David I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth, for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. In the day when I cried, thou answerest me, and strengthenest me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Yahweh, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yea, they shall sing in the ways of Yahweh, for great is the glory of Yahweh. Though Yahweh be high, he Yet hath he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. Yahweh will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Yahweh, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. And Proverbs 18. Verse 1. Through desire, a man, having separated himself, seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. A fool hath no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover itself. When the wicked cometh, then cometh also contempt, and with ignominy <laughs> reproach. The words of a man's mouth are as deep waters, and the wellspring of wisdom as a flowing brook. It is not good to accept the person of the wicked to overthrow the righteous in judgment. A fool's lips enter into contention, and his mouth calleth for strokes. A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are the snare of the soul. The words of a talebearer are as wounds, and they go down into the innermost parts of the belly. He also that is slothful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster. Hmm, that's interesting. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. The rich man's wealth is his strong city, and a high wall his own conceit. Before destruction the heart of man is haughty, and before honor is humility. He that answereth a matter before he heareth it, 
It is folly and shame unto him. The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit who can bear? The heart of the prudent getteth knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. A man's gift maketh room for him, and bringeth him before great men. He that is first in his own cause seemeth just, but his neighbor cometh and searcheth him. The lot causeth contentions to cease, and parteth between the mighty. A brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city, and their contentions are like the bars of a castle. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor of Yahweh. The poor useth entreaties, but the rich answereth roughly. A man that hath friends must show himself friendly, and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching listening. I hope you all have a great evening, morning, noon, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Take care. God bless. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Have faith in Him. Have trust in Him. And wait upon Him. And I'll never be sorry. So, we shall see you guys tomorrow, God willingly, with more Psalms and Proverbs. Thanks again. Take care.